What's going on guys and gals of YouTube? This is Enar Titan Gaming and I'm here to talk to you about Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. Today I'll be talking about my thoughts and plans with the game. I'll be releasing more content as soon as the game day is lifted so stay tuned for that. Alright first off I'm going to give you my thoughts on the game. The first topic I'm going to cover is the combat because that's what you'll spend most of your time doing if you're anything like me. Combat, you know, it's pretty fluid all in all. They have about a 2.5 second global cooldown, which seems pretty long at first, but you'll quickly find out that with all the animations and other aspects of combat, it's actually a really good GCD for the game. The combat also has a pretty unique and pretty cool combo system where you use one ability and it has a special effect with another. This is cause some neat effects such as, you know, more anonymity, aka threat, or mana regen. Which, honestly, I really like that about this game. That's really cool and an awesome feature. Alright, on to the next topic, questing. Questing's honestly pretty much the same as in the other MMO, with some awesome Final Fantasy flair. Which isn't a bad thing at all. It's, like, same Z isn't too bad when it comes to questing, because, I mean, it's questing. You're obviously going to have that go generic, go kill this, go pick up this sh quest. But it's a formula that's worked ever since MMOs became, you know, a thing. My personal opinion, questing feels pretty rewarding due to the music that plays. It's kind of like a da na na, you know, kind of Zelda ish, actually. I don't know. You'd have to hear it, whatever. Anyway, on to the next topic. Fates are pretty awesome. Uh, fates are basically where it's kind of like a public quest. It's not exactly new, but I also I always love to see public quests implemented into a game. Square Enix actually did a really good job of making them fit the area that they're in really well. And there's a lot of variety to them, to be honest. You can have stuff like killing cactus creatures to give stuff to give to people or defending an area, something like that. Again, pretty awesome. Definite plus in my book. All right, next topic is the class system. This is the biggest plus in my opinion. It makes the game a bit grindy, but, I mean, it's a Final Fantasy game. It's going to be grindy anyway. The class system, the class system is a bit complicated, but it's pretty awesome. The idea of leveling every single class on one character is awesome awesome especially people who get attached to their character um in the class system you can combine two cl uh two jobs to become a stronger class and i just think that's amazing see i can be like a lancer and turn into a dragoon with my other class which i don't i mean my other job but i don't really know what that is right now anyway and uh my next topic is the community the community of final fantasy 14 uh, honestly it seems pretty good so far the community in the open beta was actually really helpful, and there weren't too many trolls that I saw. The fan site communities are pretty good, you know, like Reddit, the Reddit, subreddit and stuff like that are all pretty nice. Uh, I mean, of course, there's going to be a little bit of bad content, but that's just how it is. It's always going to be there. You can get tons of information on the net with very helpful people backing these fan sites. Alright, my last topic is going to be my plans for the game. Personally, I'm going to play this game a lot. Uh, there's going to be a lot of content. On the channel, on Twitch, YouTube, all of that. Final Fantasy fourteen is going to be a big game for me. Also, there's going to be a dual stream with Traveldor on release day. I cannot wait to see you guys there, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till next time, later.